Hey guys, so we got two new gold master set players in Eddie Olchuk and Ken Danico. So uh, let's break it down and see if they are worth the investment. Uh, just to take a look here, it just went out, so I'm wondering if the sets are up. But so far, not very many of these have been worth it because you are going to pay, you have to pay 12 gold icons, which is roughly about 40k if you buy the players involved. <clears throat> so. Uh, just looking at here, if you guys haven't seen them yet, so it's going to require 12 icons and the base 85 master icon. So let's take a look at the price point and if you should do it. So first things first, it's obviously going to be cheaper if you already have that icon. And if it's untradeable, then obviously it's going to be added value for you to do that set. Um, but regardless, we got to see if, uh, if it's worth spending those because, you know, if these are 84s that are coming out, or the 85s are coming out with upgrades, then the 86s, 87s, 88s, and then obviously the Lemieux and, and you know, Jacques Plantz. No, Jacques Plantz coming out, but I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't grab him. Bad example. But regardless, let's take a look at, first we'll start with Ken Danico, the 94 overall. Six foot, 195, so he is at the baseline of size of what I'd like in a defenseman. Has one to BM, two to WC, one to BL. And then we look at his speed. So skating, obviously, is where he lacks when you consider other high-end defensemen. The, the thing that's going to hurt Ken Danico in this instance is that he's left-handed. Uh, there's just so many good left-handed defensemen in this game already. If he was a righty, he'd probably be one of the best right defensemen in the game. That being said, uh, slap shot accuracy, 86, slap shot power, 94. Slap shot's obviously more important than wrist shot. Uh, and then when you go over to the hand stats, um, we've got deking at 84, which is hilarious to think about. Passing and puck control, 96 and 94. Body checking, 99, and strength, 94, which is super key. And then 99 defensive awareness, stick checking, shot blocking, so... He's a very, very good defenseman. Now, 500k is what you're going to have to spend or the equivalent of it. Do I think he's worth 500k? Not really, no. His synergies are not bad. Two WCs, two Wrecking Crews, not bad. Um, but um, I would like to see more size. If you're spending 500k on a defenseman, I mean, you could go with the 94 Master Set victor headman players like that so keep that in mind if you do have ken danico and he's untradeable uh, hmm. it depends on the state of your defense but if you do not have any good defensemen and i'm talking like 90 or above or maybe um you've got like a 90 maybe you've got like you know, an all-star card, something like that, and you really need that one good first pairing defenseman, it's not bad if you already have Ken Danico. If not, I would sell the Ken Danicos and wait for the future guys. I just think that there are going to be better options, obviously, which there will be. So uh, I would avoid the Ken Danico. Now, again, we're going over to Eddie Olachuk. And again, guys, this um, so far they've done it in bunches, and I feel like they've done all of the ones that like aren't super good. So six one two oh one, little deep, very good size. I mean, good good size for forward. Uh, same thing as Danico though. Skating is ninety five, and now everyone's like, well, but if he has SP, he's ninety eight. So it's not like he's slow, guys. For the love of God, if you have a ninety nine overall skater and you have SP activated, it does not make a ninety six overall player skate at the same speed. I can't see, and I don't know, have confirmation if they go above, but I've played two thousand games of NHL twenty, and I can tell you that. The, f the higher their base rating, the faster they will be, even if they end up having, you know, they hit 99. So just keep that in mind, guys. I don't, I think the skating's fine, though. Uh, and then his shot, obviously, 94, 96 uh, for accuracy and power is fantastic. Hand stats all in the middle 90s. Body checking, 93. Strength at 97. Offensive awareness at 99. This is a very good card. Um, I would obviously like to see a speed a little bit higher just because I want to see 99s at this point. Uh, but if you're investing in this one, this isn't a bad investment at all because, um, you know, he can stay and be on your team for the rest of the game. The 91 faceoff is probably a little low in comparison to what you're going to have near the end game. And, I'm, and when I say end game, I mean the gaming world championships, those qualifiers, the, that's kind of the breaking point, what you want going into that. He could easily be on your team as, either as a winger or as a, def or a centerman, a defenseman, uh, for the rest of the game. Uh, whether it be your fourth line, that's fine. So 500k for this card, I would probably pull the trigger. So if you do have Eddie Olchuk, I would go and do that now. 
um, keep in mind that his price for the 80, the 85 overall is probably going to be high. Let's take a peek at it, what it is right now. This is on PlayStation. Like 80. So another 80,000. I probably wouldn't spend 560 to 600K on him. So keep that in mind, guys. I, um, 50K. That's not bad. And he's getting, he's going to drop on it. There's 34. All these people just hoarding them. I love it. Like out in skirts, it's just got like 20 up. Love to see it. So, uh, regardless, 50k isn't bad. There's an extra collectible. But if you do have him already, 80 untradeable, 100% go and uh, make the Eddie Olachuk. I think that that is a value. The Kandanico, however, that's the one I would avoid. I just think they're going to be better options. They're more plentiful at uh, left defense. And he's obviously going to have less of an impact than a forward would, um, you know, just that's the nature of the game. Uh, they did come out with some other releases and whatnot, but nothing crazy. The 93 Marner is okay. I feel like he's like the right-handed version of Elias Pettersson, so he just plays tall and kind of lanky, um, but that's just me. So, guys, let me know what you think of the Ken Danico and the Eddie Olachuk, and, uh, yeah, let me know if you play with them and how, and how they feel. I'll see you guys next time.